It is springtime and that means it's garden season, which is one of my favorite seasons. I love growing a big abundant garden with all of our fruits and vegetables, but what I don't like is the weeds that come with it. Behind me is a first year garden plot, so we just got this in the ground right over pasture, which means I'm going to be fighting loads of weeds. So let me show you a few of my tips on kind of keeping weeds at bay. My first tip that I have for you is that I am doing a no-till method and basically what that means is that what you see here behind me is what it'll be year after year. I won't come in with a tiller and rework the ground up. I'm going to add back to the soil. So at the end of my gardening season I will cut down at the roots or as far into the soil as I can the plants lay them over, leave the roots of those plants in the ground and let them work all winter long in the ground, add some more compost on top of that and some mulch and let it sit all winter long and be ready for the next garden season. What this does is that it will eliminate that weed seed from the bottom. When you till it, it brings it back up to the surface and then you're going to get more weeds. So year after year, you're going to be fighting weeds if you're re moving that seed back up to the surface when you till the pro your ground. So the first year is the hardest and then every year after that you are suppressing those weeds and you'll see less and less come through is what the theory is behind it. Um, so this is my first year doing a no-till method and I'm really excited about it. However, this was pasture so I am fighting loads of grass and weeds and all kinds of stuff right now and so I have some more tips for you on getting it under control. Number two for you is to get out and actually weed. If you can spend 10 to 15 minutes a day in your garden, set a timer, put on some music, and get out there, um, you will see a big difference in not feeling overwhelmed and having your weeds just completely take over. So I try and spend about 10 to 15 minutes. It's been rough this last couple weeks because we've gotten a ton of rain, so it's harder to get out here. Um, and so weeds have just overgrown right now. I need to get a handle on it. And the best way to do that is to pull them up yourself. Um, it's not something glamorous and that anyone wants to do, but that is the best way to get a handle on these weeds. Set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes a day, come out and just work on one row at a time, picking every single weed. The next day, set a timer for 10 to 15 minutes and move on to the next row. You're gonna see a major change when you start doing that. Make sure when you pull your, your weeds that you're pulling the whole root and everything out, not just the tops off. Otherwise, you're gonna see them come back over and over again. So as you can see, those are the artichoke plants, but look at the amount of weeds and grass that are coming through, even with mulch, even with a thick layer of compost underneath. Um, and then this is weed cloth through my pathways. It's just no match for the pasture that was here. Um, the only way to really get a hold of this is to get out and actually weed. So my third and final tip is what do you do when it's so out of control that even just getting out there 10 to 15 minutes a day really is not going to do much? Well, here's my best example because life happens and I get it. And you intend to come out here 10 minutes a day. It doesn't sound like a really hard thing to do. And then life happens and weeks go by and you don't get out here. And then next thing you know, you'll never be able to catch up. Here's what I've done when those types of situations happen is I clear an area around my plant um, about four, three to four inches out. So I have no risk of spraying. And then I use straight 25, 20% vinegar that I buy on Amazon. And I will link that below in the description on, um, on the rest of the weeds. This will kill a plant as well, so you wanna make sure you're only spraying it on your weeds, not on your actual plants, and that's why I make sure to give myself plenty of room. I use this in my rows, um, or I'm sorry, in my paths, where I don't want weeds to ever come back and nothing to grow. Um, and it is a really great natural weed sprayer that I love using in my garden. So if life happens and you aren't able to um, keep up on the 10 to 15 minutes a day, this is a good option. 
So here is what it looks like up close. I will link it in the description, um, but this is a 20% vinegar weed killer by, made by Green Gobbler. Regular distilled white vinegar will not do the trick. You need the high potent stuff. The best tip I can give anyone starting out in garden and just weed management is to get out in your garden every day. Um, even if that's just five to 10 minutes a day, that is the best way to stay on top of anything going on in your garden, whether that be weeds or bugs or anything. Um, it is your best bet in having a successful, great garden. Uh, life does happen and I get that, um, but even if you can just spend a little bit of time in your garden every day, you will have some success. I hope that you take these tips and they are helpful to you and I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you.